it is an honor and a privilege to have as guest our congressman for the Long District of Macolod City, Congressman Monico Puentebella. Good evening, sir. Thank you for inviting me, Ernie. Salamat, Gid. You know what? Uh, I hope you don't mind if I'll call you on a, the first name basis so that you will feel comforted uh, by the fact that uh, uh, for the information of uh, the televiewers, Congressman Monico Pintibilia is my long, uh, long time friend. And uh, the reason why uh, I invited him as the first guest, because I want the people of Bacolod to know that we have a working congressman in the House of Representatives. In my presentation of facts a while ago, I mentioned that Congressman Monico Pontebelia has authored 220 bills and resolution in the 12th, 13th, and 14th Congress, and a total of 410 bills and resolution as co-authors. In addition to that, the total number of bills that made into law, as I have narrated, uh, there are six. So, without much ado, I would like to give the floor to uh, Congressman to say a few words to our televiewers. Thank you very much, Ernie. My name is Actually, I would like to apologize for being late. Kay Mag-ulangin mag-abot ang aeroplano, delayed kami due time, ito do ang ulan sa Manila, Subong. And I'm also a bit apologetic with my voice kay Halinsang Baguio Frank, though wala pa ko maumpawan. No? And uh, honestly, Ernie, I'd like to thank you because for your patience in waiting for me because this is my worst, uh, one of my worst periods in my seven-year uh, 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 term as a uh, Congressman of Bacolod. Uh, you know, it's terrible because I have been traveling almost every day uh, from Bacolod to Manila, Manila to Cebu, Cebu to Bacolod, because right now, uh, mga kauturan, we have had uh, three hearings already in Congress about the investigation on the Sulpicio line sinking uh, during the Baguio Frank. And then, uh, the other day I was in Cebu because of the request of all the shipholders in the Philippines to whether to release the cargo vessels of Sulbicio or not. No? And uh, the President has ordered that as long as the boats of Sulpicio lines are in good uh, condition and uh, ready to sail because uh, the cargo shipments in the Philippines have been bugged down na atrasar, lahain na sitwasyon sa mga cargo at subong sa mga pantalan, 40% of our cargo shipments are, are coursed through uh, Sulpicio Lines. So, it has been decided that uh, <coughs> excuse me, Sulpicio Lines would have to sail uh, carrying cargo shipments only uh, upon audit and upon check up by Marina. No? And then at the same time, naglain pagkita ang sitwasyon ko kay Kadua Ginabrihan uh, Ernie ang aton nga na iya, new na iya Terminal 3, no? And as Chairman of Transportation, uh, primero sang Martes Ginabrihan namon sa Cebu Pacific. And then, uh, was it the other day, Ginabrihan naman sang Presidente for Philippine Airlines and Cebu Pacific. So in short, Kaduha Abrihan ang na iya, and as chairman of transport, I have to attend all of these uh, uh, occasions. No, uh, actually, I'm very proud of our new airport. I hope our domestic airport uh, will be uh, will be having less uh, airplanes very soon. Kag masaylo na sa naia three. Why? Why untat? And then I'm preparing also for this 
Olympic Games on August uh, 8, no? 8 uh, opening in Beijing, wherein our friend Manny Pacquiao is going to carry the flag of the Philippines. Uh, kaya na, si Manny was in Malacanang because uh, he decided to bring his wife and one, one uh, uh, staff member. So we have to fix the visa again and we have to fix the visa of the Jinky. So all of this have piled up and I'm losing my voice. But however, I would like to hope makarest ako buhas. And then on Monday, uh, State of the Nation address, you may want to take that up karun nga gabi. Uh, everybody in Manila is waiting, inviting me to talk about yeah. SONA. Mm. Ikaw ang nakauna. Uh, after this, I think Bombo Radio will interview me. Oh. And then I'm going to be the guest of oh. Rotary Club of Bacolod West, no? uh, headed by the new president, Cecil Del Castillo. Mm. So from here, I'm going to, I guess, Fisher Hotel, in between the interview with Bombo Radio. And I guess this is my life. It's one of the worst, but it's one of the most exciting, no? because even last night, uh, I had to go back to Manila kay nag-merge naman ang, ang nag-party kagabi, ang Kampi, Lakas, NPC, Liberal Party, Nationalista in one, in one tent, no? nag-party kagabi. So, I, I am just tired but I'm happy to serve the country and I would like to thank the people of Bacolod for, for giving me this privilege. No? Kung wala ang boto kag ang pagpalangga sa taga Bacolod, Siguro hindi ko man ni maagom ang tanan ng excitement. New airport, Sulpicio Lines. I'm going to come up with a new law on maritime industry. We just finished the civil aviation which you mentioned. So, sige-sige ni. And I would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity. Because there is a sunshine, sa sunshine channel siguro kibot ka mo. Yes, I'm on Chanchai channel. no. And I'd like to thank Ernie for giving me the chance. Dwa lang ka mo ni Jolib diri ang naka sa ako so I'd like to thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, Congressman, sabi mo, uh, it's high time that uh, uh, you will you'll start guesting here in uh, Chanchain Channel because this is, Chanchain Channel is in Bacolod City. And as the Congressman of the Long District of Bacolod, you deserve to be in the program because uh, Para makabalo ang aton nga mga aton nga constituencies dere sa, sa Bacolod. Kun ano bala ang mga ginahimo mo sa Manila? Kaya si matter of fact, mayo na nga nag-mention ka sa akon party sang Sona no. But before we touch the subject on the Sona, may ari ding uh, with your indulgence 